between the things that I like, Jurassic, Transformers, etc. I think they've got what I like covered. So it doesn't feel, it didn't feel like, and it still doesn't feel like, um, I need to get too involved in that area because they're there. So, you know, what, what could I possibly add to that? But with Byte, with a new short form video app, it allowed me the opportunity to do things in a slightly different way. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, really, really digging into not much here. I did say I'd uh, stop it, but uh, I actually now I want to find the skull because that should be the prize, shouldn't it? That should be the real prize, the skull. So, let's see if we can find that somewhere. But yeah, um, I wanted to make use of this uh, of bites and hit the ground running with it, basically. And I managed to do that by becoming a beta tester, or beta tester, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, managed to do that. And managed to get a head start, and uh, yeah. Right now, I feel like I've got uh, a following I'm quite happy with, and, you know, responses I'm quite happy with as well. And... I know I'm saying and a lot, aren't I? <laughs> I suppose it's a, it's a, uh, uh, what you call it? Words, English, I have no idea. I suppose it's a um, result of being involved with improv. Now that was a move. <laughs> oh, what is this? What's this? What's this? <gasps> I know what this is. Oh my lo- Oh, right, it's that. <laughs> I thought it was the main skull, but no. It's the jaw, the lower jaw, the lower mandible. The next bex- the, ne the next bex- the, uh, the, uh, the, I need hydration. <laughs> uh, the next best thing. Okay, so thing- ooh. We've got a lot of things cracking apart. Oh, we have an arm. Look at that. We have a dinky little arm. <laughs> and we've got something else here. Crack this thing open. Yeah, yeah. A bit of vertebrae. And I can crack this with my hands now. Look at that. Oh, wow. <gasps> Lucky. Hello. <laughs> I don't even need to say what some of these things are. But another arm. So we've got both arms. So, you know, like Spike for that, maybe. <laughs> and, ah, here we go. Look at that. Wow. The skull. Right, the entire skull is... Uh, excavated. Oh, bit more of vertebrae. I think that's the tail, actually. Some of the tail. And... Oh, wow. Oh, Georgia. Oh, oh whoa. Oh, mm, interesting. I think this is... A bit of the neck? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I'll know when I put it together. I'll clean them up and sort the pieces out. Oh. <laughs> uh, a bit of a mess, but... Uh, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta get messy. Oh, I think that's a leg bone. Classic. Uh, yeah, so this is the main block that's yet left to uns uh, yet to uncover things from. There's some stuff here, but I think that's just solid chalk or, <laughs> or whatever this uh, material is. It must be chalk. It's got it's got to be something that's you know safe for kids to do, hasn't it? Um, or say for anyone to do, because you know what some people are like these days. <laughs> okay, that's some... I think that's some more tail. Which is really cool. Um, you get your company. <sighs> wow. Now, can you imagine if... 
you could actually do that in paleontology. Just just physically crack the bones out of the ground. Wow. <laughs> I suppose that's uh, something to something paleontologists can be jealous of in this tie case scenario. Look at that. That's the tip of the tail. So we've gone from one end to the other, and that's a bit, I think that's a bit more of tail. And now you can start to see some feet and a clump of bones. So it's just the legs to go, I think. <laughs> Let's get really messy. Okay. We know what's there. Just, oh God, so much dust. <laughs> that was probably a bad idea. But there you go. Clump of bones. And the rest of it which houses the legs. So I'm going to pause it here. And when we come back, uh, we shall have a skeleton to assemble. And just a quick look at the bones before I put them all back together. DSI. Dino Scene Investigation. <laughs> uh, what a mess. <laughs> And when you're all washed, you should have something that looks a bit like this. A pile of bones. Now, what I've done is I washed, I basically washed them in the sink. I've scrubbed out all the little uh, connectors and what have you, parts where dem bones connect with other dem bones. Um, I've left little, I've left little bits like in between uh, the rib cages and what have it. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't keen on uh, cleaning every single millimetre of these things. Mainly because I sort of like the idea that uh, the the bones will have this out of the ground look that uh, some bones have when you uh, go see skellies in uh, museums and what have you. They still have that sense that they've just come out of the ground. Uh, so I'm le so I've left little bits of the uh, uh, the the fake rock. <laughs> well, technically it is rock anyway. Uh, so I've left little bits of the chalk and what have you. Chalk is extremely messy, by the way. <laughs> I've just spent a good twenty minutes trying to clear this area and the dust. This I live in a very I live in a place that gets dusty very easily. So I have not helped my situation at all. And that is a very nice uh, shape. That's a, almost like the butterfly effect thing. <laughs> so, let's begin assembly. I have instructions here. Always keep your instructions, I say. I mean to say that anyway. So, uh, let's talk a bit more about some things. <laughs> Actually, let's get these bones organized first. <laughs> Uh, do 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 rib cage. Now, as you can see, the rib cage doesn't exactly match what is going on. It's because you have this, and the rib cage slots fit into this middle slice here. So some things work that way. Okay. Uh, where shall we start? Now, there's a little bit of. Um, there's a little bit of uh, separate assembly to do on the skull, which I'm quite intrigued about. Uh, and that explains where this piece comes in. I wondered where this piece would fit, and I thought it might be the neck. It actually looks like um, one of the bone segments that... Um, was it Lex or, uh, or uh, Satsler straddles when they're trying to escape the raptors at the end of Jurassic Park? Kind of looks like one of those bits, but uh, yes. Start with the skull, and I've got the lower jaw somewhere. It's buried. There it is. <laughs> I just had it in my hand. Okay. So, similar to the um, T Rex skull that came with Maisie Lockwood, uh, there's a sort of an effect where you have to put together like three pieces at once. Or connect several joints at once. So we have this going on here. So and we put that there, there like that. And hey, I put the skull together more or less. But oh no, I need to put this in because this slot is in right here, the back of the skull. 
uh, yeah, which is where the Steinsaw's neck vertebrae attaches, unlike the Pachycephalosaurus, as we learned in the Lost World, attaches at the bottom of the skull. I don't know how accurate that uh, claim is, but it sounds legit, so I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll accept it. Now, it looks like... Yeah, yes. It looks like, unlike the um, other smaller dinosaur kits, um, this action piece, this uh, action feature McGubbin, actually sits in the skeleton uh, regardless of whether you want it or not. Now, with the other... You look at the chemistry. Uh, with the other smaller kits, um, these pieces swap out with other pieces, uh, so you can give them the action feature. Uh, right now, I have all of them displayed as regular skeletons, and if I so choose, I could have. Uh, their respective bits swapped out to initiate action features, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I wanna keep them as actual skeletons. Um, I might play around with them, might mess around with them uh, once or twice here and there, what have you. Uh, but as they stand, they shall remain as such. So where's that jogger? There we go. Okay, so we've got this going on here. Okay, I've got the, 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 the little bit goes on, uh, which bit on, oh dear, right, <laughs> okay, so that looks like it attaches, am I doing that, I don't know, um, a closer look, yes, see, okay, okay, this image is apparently a mirror image, because that makes it look like it should be facing that way. But it should be that way if the Rex is facing that way. That's a mirror image. That's naughty. Because the instructions, it's difficult to see in black and white, but it has them the other way around. Mattel, my dudes, you should be on this. Okay. So let's pop that in. Uh, that should... Oh, I see. It's a snapping action. <laughs> yeah. Foreshadowing. Okay, so this goes in here. Uh, it look... Oh, I forgot to dig that bit out. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, I can do it right now and create a bit more of a mess. Bear with. Talk amongst yourselves. Just one second. There we go. And this is why I let people like uh, Victoria, Tom, Pierre, and Vangelis do these sorts of things rather than me. <laughs> let the pros do the work. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> ah, the, 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 the pretend stone is everywhere. And it looks like this is supposed to go in here. To be fair, it actually looks like you can assemble this without the doofer. But for the sake of tar ah, I've got it. It's in. Right. But for the sake of Tory views, I'm going to do the thing as a whole. So here we go. The jaw is in place. Right. So that is how you assemble one heart part of the jaw. And then he puts the other one. And it should all smush together. Like a nice wrap filling. I still haven't had lunch. I'm using food analogies. I'm made, make, making myself hungry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Snap, snap, snap. Come on. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Okay. So it's got a bit of a springy action. So even if I haven't done it right, um, that looks okay to me. Look at that. 
<laughs> yeah, quite pleased with that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Maybe it is. Maybe it is that way. I redact my previous statement. <laughs> because it's currently doing this. But of course the uh, but of course I think the idea is to lock this so it can snap shut. I believe that's the idea anyway. Press button for chomping action. Okay. Yeah, that that I, th I think that's it. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So <laughs> oh dear. Uh da let, let's see if we can correct this. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, pliable plastic. I believe in you. Oh. Don't let me down. I know you can do this. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so the skull is done. There we go. Yes. Okay. Now it works. Yeah. Yep. No. Well. Right. Right. Yeah. That's that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. So. Hi. Chump. <laughs> I got missed out with that now. Okay. So it looks like the skull only needs, well, the base of the neck only needs one attachment, so I can get to it. So I can do an art attack and put this one to one side whilst we work on the rest. Now then, uh, you remember how this came out in one piece? It's actually supposed to be two pieces, but helpfully they put it together and I haven't, uh, I have not yet separated them. Because, uh, and I think I should do because this middle bit this middle bit um, goes through another piece. And if I'm not very much mistaken, it is this one. See? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Let's try this. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Separate pieces and a lot more, and a lot more muck in those crevices. <laughs> All right, let's, let's... Try. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that, snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Okay, but there's, there's an overlap in those, so there's an overlap in those sorts of things. So, uh, I'm going to do the larger piece first. Okay, so you can see there's a notch there and a, and a notch there. Well, a notch there and a groove here. So, slide, and it should work. Oh, yes. That was a bit gristly. But, I'm okay with that. There we go. Oh, snap happy. Yeah. Mmm. Tasty. Okay, now look at look. That's looking a bit more full and complete. <sighs> and it's one of the only pieces we've done. Alright, so we've done that. We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Did it, did it, did it. What I want to do next is actually attach the rib cage pieces together so this is right so that's the front end and that should contour to the groove somehow there we go see look at that that's that looks like that looks right that looks tasty that looks delicious I mean, I am hoping I've got this the right way around. Uh, who knows? Who knows, eh? Who knows? I mean, there's a bit of a Doctor Who segue I can go to there, but we shan't speak of that. <laughs> Unless you want. My Doctor, by the way, is Christopher Eccleston. Who is your Doctor? Leave a comment. That's how YouTubers do the thing, right? They, they go leave a comment and you leave comments and things get interesting. <laughs> I don't know, I've just had some drink. 
just had a beverage of my choice. And I encourage you to have a beverage of your choice. Okay, this isn't... I think this is the best it can do. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is do the same for this side as well. Or as best, or as, best as I can. And doing the PR thing when slightly going out of frame. <laughs> It's easy to forget I'm actually doing a thing for camera. And the camera's actually my phone. <laughs> I mean, I don't claim to be a professional. And if you think I have a professional standard then well I don't know what to tell you <laughs> professionalism has a price and that price Aha! that's kind of clipped into place kind of I'm not sure how far it's actually supposed to go in I think it eh, it looks like it's supposed to eh, it looks like it's supposed to go in a little bit further but you know what I'm happy with that I'm okay with it. Because, ah, yeah, it may be a little bit... Uh, I'm not sure. But, look at that. That looks alright. I can live with that. Okay, so that's a ribcage. And now to attach this piece. The, 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 the uh, shoulder blade section. And this, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, deary me. Deary me. Okay, so, so what we have here is a situation where this wraps around this section. <laughs> so I suppose if it goes, if this compresses any further, it should do, but no. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try my best to get this in there ah. and get that in there uh, and I think I'm going, um, it's more or less coming at the right angle see so if you look at that, so I'm trusting this image now <laughs> trusting this image now so that is more or less the angle of already started going there it looks like it has clips as well so it clips onto uh, at least one of the rib bones. <laughs> Keep forgetting my positioning, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so that has clipped into place, and that is clipping into place. I can live with that. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not that, that's not lined up very well. It's like when you get a transformer and it done there's some missile oh good grief. There's some misalignment. Uh movie barricade always has that problem. <laughs> well for me anyway. Okay. I think I think there's a case to be made for the angle of the insertion as well. Oh look at that. Managed to get it lined up. Hey! Done it on that one as well. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> 